17 years ago, Hurricane Katrina devastated the city of New Orleans. The storm caused more than $100 billion in property damage and more than 1,800 lives were lost. The hurricane also wrought a huge emotional toll. Many of those who lived through the storm were children at the time and traumatized by the experience. I don't want to cry. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Just take your time. It's okay, like, wait, so, um, wait, so, like, um, have you ever, like, talked about this before? No, I haven't. Her story and others are captured in the new HBO documentary, Katrina Babies. Now, as adults, they share how they've dealt with the pain and anguish caused by the storm, the inequities of the recovery since then, and Katrina's indelible mark on our nation's history. The filmmaker, Edward Buckles Jr., is a native son of New Orleans, and he joins us now. Thanks for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. Where did this idea come from to collect the stories of the youngest people affected by Katrina? Um, a story that I wanted to tell was, was one that drew parallels between what happened in 2005 and what was currently happening with the young people in New Orleans, which was, you know, a lot of um, trauma surfacing. So that's where the initial idea came from. You know, I just wanted to um, draw those parallels because it seemed like we were getting blamed for the way that our trauma was surfacing. Hmm. The clip we played, you talking to your friend, Maisha, and you ask her, has anyone ever asked you these questions about how you feel? And she says no. That was pretty common among the folks that you spoke to, that they really hadn't processed this ongoing trauma. How, how can that be? I mean, that was the question I came away with, was how can that be that this trauma has been overlooked for some 17 years now? When you ask me, um, how this can happen, you know, first of all, I think that children are often an afterthought when it comes to um, traumas and big disasters anyway. But when it comes to black children, I think that that it's 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 just you know amplified, right? And you know, I'm only left to assume that you know it's because of the fact that you know there's a lack of empathy and love for black people because as a child, when I'm not ex, you know, about one of the deadliest, you know, disasters or hurricanes that ever, you know, came to America, it just makes me think that no one cares. The effects of Katrina, as we mentioned, are ongoing. Following the storm, there were so many people who were displaced in New Orleans, and this comes through in the documentary, a sense of place is defining for people. The neighborhood that you grew up in, the war that you come from, is connected to people's identities. And so much of that now doesn't exist anymore. I mean, how, how does that manifest uh, right now? So when you strip that away from a child, as well as stripping away their neighborhoods, you know, currently we have people, well, we have natives who are being displaced within New Orleans because of gentrification and because their rent is becoming so high. So, you know, you're dealing with, you know, children who don't even understand where they come from because their parents have been displaced. And, you know, if you don't know who you are and if you don't know, you know, where you come from, how can you possibly know where you're going. So I think that we're dealing with a big, you know, identity, you know, situation in New Orleans when it comes to, you know, just how much we're moving around and how much we're being displaced, you know? Um, mm -hmm. We're, we're, we're kind of all over the place right now. How has the aftermath of the storm these past 17 years, how has it affected you? You know, it's, it's, it's interesting. When you watch this documentary, um, I am all throughout of it, right? You know, I am, I, am, I am the thread that, you know, holds it together when it comes to story. And what's interesting is that it took me seven years to make this film, but I didn't include myself in, in it until year six. And that was because of the fact that, you know, I was resistant and, you know, I didn't think that I had trauma because I was always like, well, you know, I, I evacuated. I didn't stay during the storm. But, you know, what I learned by making this film was that trauma is trauma and that, you know, I did have trauma and like I learned that recently. So when I say it was important for, you know, tools and resources to be put into place so that children could have the information to know how to deal with the trauma once it surfaced later in their lives, with me, it surfaced at 29, right? Mm. And I didn't really know how, 
I didn't really know how to deal with it on my own. So now I'm just in a place where I'm just being gentle, gentle with myself. I'm having grace with myself. And, you know, I'm actually learning from this film. I'm actually learning from this process, you know, that like I still have some healing to do from Hurricane Katrina and from, you know, just growing up in a disenfranchised black community in New Orleans. So, you know, I've acknowledged it. I've, I've, I've accepted it. So now it's up to me to go and, you know, seek the healing that I need. Edward Buckles, Jr., I appreciate you. appreciate your time. Thank you so much for having me today. The HBO documentary film Katrina Babies is available on HBO and HBO Max.